Welcome to Personal Fitness. This video is a guide for you and a way to learn how to navigate your course and to learn um, some tools that you'll need for the Personal Fitness course. So the first thing I want you to notice is this little announcement area. You want to make sure to check into this um, every week to see if your teacher has any important information she needs to tell you. It could be in video form, it could be in text form, it could be in audio form, but you want to pay attention to this. Also, you'll notice this blue scroll bar. Depending on the resolution of your screen or the size of your screen, um, you may need to drag this from side to side in order to view all of the information on the page. So let's scroll uh, down. You'll notice to the left side you have a navigation bar for your course that shows you all of the lessons that you will be doing. In personal fitness, we will have 18 weeks. So we have 18 folders, 18 lessons. The first thing folder you'll have is the course introduction. Right now it's closed so I'm going to click on the folder and I'll open it up and be able to see um, what's in my course introduction. We have the course description, the pacing guide which will help you stay on track and make sure that you are doing um, the lessons in a timely manner so that you don't fall behind. Um, and then you also have this course tour video in case you ever need to go back and refresh your memory on how to use um, particular tools in this course. Let's close that up. The next folder you have is tools you may need. Now in this course there's going to be um, a lot of opportunity to use technology. So some of you may be very familiar with technology and some of you may just be learning. So if I open this folder I have several uh, different documents. Um, how to take a screenshot how to create a YouTube account, how to submit a picture to an assignment or to a forum. So these you're going to need throughout the course and if you don't know how to use them already you can um, click on one and then you'll be given directions. Sometimes you will be given a video directions um, and you also have links out to the different um, sites that you may need. So this is going to be an important folder for you to go back and refresh your memory or to learn things if you don't know how to do them already. Close this up. The next folder we have is need a fitness activity. Some of you may already participate in sports. You may already get your 30 minutes of physical activity three days a week. You may already get that. Some of you may not know what to do and may not already have a routine. So you'll want to check back to this folder often because we will be adding new activities. Right now we have um, we have a 30 minute workout, we have yoga, we have some applications that can be used for your cell phone so you can click on any of them, browse through them to see if any of the fitness exercises or applications would work um, for your routine or if it's something that would interest you. And some of these have um, videos to show you how to use them or links out to the application. So next let's take a look at the first lesson. Lesson 1. Let's open up the folder. In each lesson you will always have an introduction, what you will be learning and what is ahead of you. You will also have this virtual PE teacher called Coach Barrios who will introduce you to every lesson. Hi class, my name is Coach Barrios and I will be with So you have a play button here where you can listen to her message and you will also see the um, what your goals are for the lesson, what you'll be learning, and what your challenge will be at the end of the lesson. All right, so I, like I said before, every time you see these blue bars, it means you need to scroll across to read all of the information on the page. 
Okay, so this particular activity, the longevity game, there's a link here to play the game. Um, and it also tells you what you will learn in the activity. So I can link to the game here to play, or next to the icon, I can link out here. So let's link out here. It takes me to um, the longevity game that my teacher is asking me to play. So I can link out right next to the icon. Or I can link out here. Anytime you see um, this little checkbox here, it means it's going to be a quiz. So the directions are to watch the video. And you can link here and learn about these things and after you watch the video you're gonna take a quiz so you can link out here to the quiz or like I said before next to the icon you can link here so let's go ahead and click the link to see what a quiz looks like scroll down to the bottom you get two attempts for every quiz and you'll get the highest grade that will be recorded so in order to attempt the quiz, all you have to do is click the button and then you'll start taking the quiz. <clears throat> so in several of your activities, you'll be asked to read either an article, to watch a video, um, to play a game, and then possibly take a quiz at the end to make sure you have learned what your teacher wants you to learn. So in this one here, this is an article. Read this article, which is a link here or here, and then take the quiz, which the link to the quiz is here, or the link to the quiz is here. Then we'll scroll down in the next activity. You'll see this little icon here. That's a form, which means you're going to submit something to a form so that your teacher and your classmates can see it. So to get to the form, you can link here or you also see the link is here again. So I'm just going to link out from inside the text. And then once you <clears throat> read the directions, you will see this form here. The teacher will want you to click her link to view what she's posted. And then what you will do is you will reply, bottom right, to her post and you will add your post and there are directions in the tools you may need on how to post a picture and a video to a forum. Let's get back to the main page. So anytime you see this icon that means a for, you will have a forum assignment. And every week in this fitness class you will have a challenge. Um, and it's not something difficult, it's meant to be fun and a lot of the different ways you can not only just type in things, we want you to use your creativity, to use technology, so you can sometimes post pictures, sometimes add videos, or sometimes you can submit your work in new and different ways. So let's think creative in this class. And I, we are always open to suggestions. If you have a new and exciting way that you want to present your work, just ask your teacher. So you keep scrolling down. Now right here, you're going to see this every week, Activity Log 1. This will be the only assignment that you must submit every week within the time frame. Because every week, you are required to do weekly fitness. So you can link here to the activity log or here. And let's take a look at it. So it says here, remember that you are required to exercise a minimum of 30 minutes, three days per week. So like I said, if you need an activity, you can go to the um, folder and look for an activity, or maybe you already have one. Remember that when you're doing 
your activity. It should be working at a moderate intensity, which you'll learn more about in this class what a moderate intensity is. And then you'll also be required to type in what it is that you did. Not just, I ran, but be specific. List exactly what you did each day for how many minutes. So every week you're going to be required to do this. And this is the only assignment where it is completely necessary that you submit it within that week. If you don't submit it within that week, you will not receive credit for it. And you cannot submit it earlier because we want to make sure that every week you are doing three days a week, at least 30 minutes of exercise. So this will be the only assignment that you must make sure every week you go in and you put in the hours that you have logged for the week. And last but not least, you will see a completion checklist. So at the end of the week, you want to make sure that you go through this. Have I played the longevity game? Have I watched this video? Have I taken this quiz? Have I read this article? Have I done this quiz? Have I completed my challenge? Did I submit my activity log? If you can answer yes to all those questions, then you are ready to move on to the next lesson. So I'm going to close up lesson one. We've completed lesson one. We're just going to scroll through lesson two very quickly to see if there's anything um, different that we need to draw attention to. So for this particular icon, this is an assignment icon, and it means at the end of the assignment you will have to submit something to your teacher. It could be a picture, it could be a video, it could be text. Um, when you scroll down, you will see this button, Submit Assignment. And if you are unsure how to submit your assignment, there are videos in the Tools You May Need folder to help you do that. So the format for each lesson will basically stay the same. Like I said, you'll always have your weekly activity log for your fitness activities that you'll need to submit. You'll always have a checklist at the end. Um, the activities within the lesson may vary, but for the most part, your flow will stay the same. Um, if you'll notice to the left, uh, um, like I said before, this is going to be your navigation. Um, there is also navigation on the top that I didn't point out up here. If I wanted to get back to um, my main page, I could use the top navigation. And then to the right side, you will see different blocks. Um, you will have the latest news. You will have upcoming events. So you'll want to make sure you look at that. If there's anything that it has a due date, which would be your activity logs, this will be a place to, to make sure you get those turned in on time. So one thing that I do want to show you, because everybody wants to know what their grades are, um, if you notice this box on the left hand corner, you'll see a red check mark and it says grades. If you click on that, then you'll be able to see your grades for the course. So you'll see the activity, you'll see the grade that you received, you'll see the range, meaning how many points you could get for that activity, your percentage, and then if your teacher gives you feedback. So here we have this quiz, just as an example. Um, this person got 15 out of 20 points, meaning they received a 75%. So you will definitely want to keep track of your grades and make sure you um, keep up with your grades throughout the course. One other thing that may help you in completing your course
Let's open up lesson one again. You'll notice there are some little check boxes here. So after I've read this, I could check it. After I've played this game, I could check it. So that once you have checked all of the boxes, you know that you have completed the entire lesson. So it's just a tool to help you. And that completes our tour of our course.